What's up guys? Out here in Lakewood, Ohio at El Carnicero. They have some really good Mexican food. I've been here a few times and I love it to death. We're about to go in and learn how to make some of the best guacamole they have in Ohio. What's up, Joel? Hey, Eric. Welcome to El Carnicero. Thanks, man. I've been here a bunch of times. I'm kind of excited to learn what it's all about. Awesome. Well, we're known for modern Mexican food. Um, we're also known for our creative guacamoles. Let's head to the kitchen and whip some stuff up. Yeah, man. I'm excited right, to learn. Come on. It gets a little hot back here. A little bit. So uh, just pretend it's not hot and we'll get through it. I like it, man. So, so you start all the guacs with this base? All the guac, all the guacs start with just Calavo, California avocados. Awesome. Yeah. And I'm going to add a little bit of kosher salt, some black pepper, garlic, fresh squeezed lime juice. Take this uh, masher and just start like kind of macerating those avocado yeah. flesh. Yeah. Jalapeno, how spicy do you like it? I, I like it a little spicy. Yeah? yeah? All right, we'll add a couple extra. That's for good. You. So how much avocado do you guys go through like guacamole in a night? Like everybody orders it, right, when they come? Each case is about 48 avocados. Okay. We probably go through about 400. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah, it's quite a bit. So I snuck in some cilantro that okay. was minced, because that's your traditional Mexican flair. Right. And then some Spanish diced onion. That's perfect. Awesome. That's perfect. So we got... I can handle the mixing in the kitchen. I can yeah, handle that. Yeah, mixing in the kitchen, <laughs> that's the fun part, right? Yep. Every chef in the kitchen needs to learn that every recipe, you gotta taste it. Right. Just in case. That's perfect. perfect. We're gonna incorporate some cool traditional flavor profiles, right. but we're gonna we're gonna take it up a step. Let's let's do something a little spicy, but okay. let's do something uh, vegetarian. So right here we have some pineapple with jicama, a Mexican root vegetable that tastes like an apple yeah, and a potato. Yeah. So you can go ahead and mix that one. And then I'm gonna make the house favorite, which is a creamy goat cheese with fire roasted poblano chilies and some diced tomatoes. I'm a fan of the goat cheese and the guac. You know, I like to say this is my gateway guacamole. <laughs> you know, it's not plain and it's not simple, but it's not too crazy. Kind of like the one that you're making. Right. And then we just plate them up. Oh, nice. You gotta make them from scratch. That's right. the key. Oh, I like this. All right, Joel, thanks for your help in the kitchen. I know it was a little warm, but now we're out here at the bar to enjoy some happy hour, and uh, we have a special guest, right? Yeah, Matt's joining us. He's our yes. Radiothon winner. Welcome, Matt. Thanks for coming to El Carnicero. Good, Good to be here. So let's bring out some wild boar nachos. Here are the wild boar nachos that you wanted. Awesome. Awesome. our house made habanero hot sauce. Take it easy on that, all right? All right, Perfect. we'll do. There's some braised wild boar, smoked gouda fundido, some house pickled veg. Uh, dig in. Enjoy. I'm excited, awesome. man. I'm going to try yeah. And just coming here, man, it's just a great atmosphere and stuff. And I love the decor. I mean, how'd you get all these uh, masks and stuff? So El Carnicero translates into the butcher. Right. And the story is, is the butcher is a championship luchador wrestler out of Mexico who retired from having bad knees. So he went oh, back to the kitchen, which was his first love. There's a great satisfaction in cooking for other people. Exactly. Thanks for having us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for being here.